even at the beach y'all are doing this? All right, hold on. Hey, hey y'all. Look over here. Oh, hi. I think that might be the first time we've actually done it successfully. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, Davis has done it successfully several times. It was. So I'm the problem. Got it. No, um, it was just one of us to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, even the one time that we had two of us doing it, David didn't do it. So anyway... Uh, bonjour et bienvenue à The Cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. And welcome to... Look over here. Our exclusive companion series where today we are diving into the Instagram looks of the queens of Drag Race. Fast! Season three. <laughs> yeah. I'm Logan Murphy. I had to include the front. I'll do it a little bit softer from now on, because I, I know my mic is peaking, or new mics. Anyway, hi. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay. Gay, um, I do have water, uh, because I'm recovering from heat stroke. So this is more important than ever before in my life. Um, but also important in my life is Ghost Energy, not sponsored, but I wish I was. Um, and this is a Sour Patch Kids flavored uh, energy drink. It's very lovely. Um, yeah. It's got so much stuff in it that I don't think it could it could travel outside of the U.S. legally. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. But that's what we're rocking with today over here with me. Boom. Um, hi, hello. I am Lana, your resident. Eva Diva. I'm here to give the tea with the tea and drink with you because you know I love to some tea. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I am currently just drinking water because... I didn't go grab anything else. It was sitting here, so I'm going to drink it. And there's that. But if I was drinking anything else and wasn't my cup holder for all things anything, um, I will be drinking it out of my cup mug. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you can get your cup mug at lanajuicecreations.etsy.com. The link will be in the description below. And we do ship internationally and domestically here in the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. So there are no excuses. So get your cup, mug, merch, or anything. We have new merch in the store. So if you haven't checked out our my, the Etsy shop lately, go check it out. We have new things included. So go get your cup merch, period. Well, I'm David Healy, and I don't have a cute intro, but I do have a cute shirt. I got it. It's here. I'm wearing my Chloe Clark shirt. Woohoo! Oh, how beautiful. I probably should have worn it myself as well. But... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm representing it for you. So anybody who sees this after you go buy your cup merch, just go buy a Chloe shirt too. Because it's nice. Yeah. I like it. And this is a great look. I it's such still a good look. have not gotten over how good this promo was. I get um, it. Just... <laughs> I'm just drinking some water. All right, well, and I'm a Chloe Clark. I'm drinking Coke because it is 1 a.m. here. You see the things that I do, uh, bear it in mind. I was not voted for Miss Congeniality. However, <laughs> at this point, I could. Um, at, at this point, you could. <laughs> right? All the things that I'm doing. Um, and I don't really have anything else to add i think i will be yet again your judge jury and executioner <laughs> for today i think that's going we're, in. i think so i think that's that's the arrangement that we came to but yes we're chloe welcome back you're we were talking about it before we started you're just a regular panelist with us at this point like you're your family now so you know we're happy to have you again um, and we're especially happy to have you to judge the start of season two of our Instagram review series uh, for the channel. Uh, very excited to dive into that today. 
Um, if you're not familiar with our Instagram review series, uh, we're going to run through some of the looks, um, a curated collection, as I like to say, of some of the looks from the Queens of Drag Race France season three. And Chloe's going to judge which ones are her favorites. And it's a way for us to get competitive about Drag Race because this is the only, this is one of two competitive things that we do uh, in regards to Drag Race on this podcast. The other of which we will be doing at the end of this video because we have yet to draft for this season. So we will be closing this video with a draft and we'll explain that all at the end. So before we dive in though, make sure to subscribe if you have not already, because we are here almost all the time giving you almost all things drag and we are picking up with the drag. We've got All Stars 9, we've got Drag Race France and we've got Drag Race Mexico coming very, very soon. Very excited about that. We've got cast assessments for both France and Mexico um, available on the channel as well. So go check those out. Um, and down in the description, you can find all of our other YouTube channel links, our audio podcast links, and our membership channel links, as well as merch link. Hey, guess what? More merch plugs. Um, so without further ado, we are just going to dive into it. And we are going to go in alphabetical order with these queens as we always do. So first up is, once again, Aphrodite Moore. Chloe, are you ready? Just so you know, it's it's pronounced Aphrodite Moore. Aphrodite Moore. Oh, I love. Yeah. Okay. Aphrodite Moore. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we're going to show Chloe the three looks that uh, Lana, David, and I have chosen without revealing whose it is. And then Chloe's going to blindly judge them. And then we're going to figure out who is the winner of after all of this. Um, <laughs> Currently, I still think David is the leader. Um, I did the math at one point in the past, and I don't remember what it is. Mm -hmm. um, we've all we've all won at least once, all four of us. Correct. Because the Belgian so. queens won uh, their mm -hmm. Instagram. Oh yeah, yep. I forgot that the Belgian yep. queens won there. <laughs> yeah, okay. you all. Won. <laughs> When we so, did when we did the um, the Instagram review video for Belgique, we got I think all of you sent us a look in some capacity, or we had friends we had of the pod that that, yeah. from Drag Race. Um, was that that was me judging, right? Oh yeah, I think so. It was me, and I I am the reason that Drag Race Belgique has a point amongst our Instagram review series because I chose mostly looks from Drag Race Belgique. Yep. So, love it, love it. But yes, starting with Aphrodite Amor, Chloe, here is look number one. Look number two. Mm -hmm. And look number three. Oh, honey, they're very recent. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say this now, oh, and oh, this, oh, this, <laughs> so this goes for a this goes for a, seemingly a lot of the the queens on this cast. There was not a lot of material to work with, even with a lot of the seasoned queens. And I'll talk about one person in particular. I was very surprised to see almost nothing um, on her Instagram. Um, a lot of these girls didn't have a whole lot of selection to work from. Um, I will say for Aphrodite, I actually think the selection that we have here represents the best of what she yeah. shows on social media currently, and I'm excited to see the rest of what she she has to present um, on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I like all three of these. Um, I think we're going to see a lot of press day looks uh, from all of the queens. Uh, cause they all had really good press day looks, but, um, I, I like all of these. I almost get like a vibe, like Kelly Hilson a little bit. Um, like, I feel like she would wear some of, some of these looks, especially that bottom one. I think that it's very Kelly, much baby. fits. Yes. That fits yeah. Kelly very well. Um, but yeah, she's just got a presence about her. She's got power. Um, and she can pull off any color clearly. <laughs> Yeah, all these are great. They look, if this is who she is, if this is her point of view as a queen, if this is her aesthetic, I can, I kind of live for it because um, it's, it's, it's very, it's very on brand. Like if this, this looks like all three of these pictures look like they belong together in like the same sphere. So 
if this is her brand, I'm here for it. I can't wait to see what she brings to France. Chloe, over to you, darling. Oh, sorry. I thought you wanted to add something. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. I, I, I said my piece about be the beautiful okay. So uh, I like all three pictures, obviously. Um, uh, one's more professionally taken than the other one. Um, can I say, can I already say what I like the best? Which one I like the most? You, you can, can do whatever you, can you start would like to yours. do. It's up to you. I'm going to go with um, I'm not going to say the color because I know it. It was like it's the the very fitted one with the hat from the press day. The oh, the tur the turquoise garment. Green. Yeah, yes, that's my favorite. Second favorite is the one, and I think that's the dress from her promo that she's wearing. So the purple. Mm -hmm. The bottom picture, and then the the last picture is the one with the coat on. So that's the order that I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I'm not surprised that I didn't win this category. I'm not surprised. Wait, you, you didn't win? No, oh, I didn't. Logan has the one with oh, the red yes, coat. Yes. Sorry, I was I was looking at yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you're good. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that press theory photo, and I'm like, I have to have that. I have to have that. Yeah, uh, uh, I feel yeah. like you did that a lot, David. I feel like you did that a lot. Maybe I picked the best yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> Will this, this, this once again start the David domination in the Instagram music like videos? Only time will tell. I feel like David kind of just was like, "I'm gonna go first, and I'm gonna pick my looks first, and I'm gonna take the easy way out of this one and just pick all." <laughs> I just picked the ones I like the best. See, they're it's already not really all press looks from David. I promise. <laughs> no, I know I it's not, it's but not I know it's thumb. I know for sure. It's oh, so. why? Because you tried to pick them too? <laughs> and so what? <laughs> anyway. Aphrodite Mo, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for her. I'm very excited for her. So next up, a girl that I think is lovely, and we might have torn her to shreds in the cast assessment. Adeha Noir. Oh. I didn't. Because <laughs> you yeah, were we know. Cause you didn't, yeah, because you didn't show up. You were not a show up queen. I'm. Can you tell I'm rewatching All Star Six right now? <laughs> anyway, Adeha Noir, Chloe, we've got look number one. Okay, look number two. That's press. Sure is. And look number three. It, it's a cute collection. I have to say, going through her Instagram, I am more excited about her now. <laughs> yeah. And it's very different. That's what I love about these Instagram reviews is we'll all look at someone's Instagram and a different thing will pop out to us. Yeah. And I like, ugh, I love doing it. But yeah, I'm very excited for her. I love how much uh, mustachioed drag she has going on on her page. Um, that really, really delighted me. I seemingly might be. It seems like it. So I'm excited for her. I'm thrilled to see what I she's going to bring. I like the mustache. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like going through her Instagram because you really saw an evolution. And it's always really cool to just like, especially if a queen doesn't have a lot of photos, then you can see the evolution quicker. You don't have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to see it. And with her, there was like an immediate like transformation from like androgynous drag and then it slowly became a bit more feminine and i think you're kind of seeing the evolution here um i'm pretty sure if you start with the the one right by chloe that's the oldest then the one above it is the second oldest and then the one all the way on the left is the newest one you're seeing the transformation there um but yeah i, I thought she has a strong package overall and she was the only queen that actually submitted a look so if the look she submitted gets selected then the queens from france will get one point and one point alone well oh because it is it is on here then mm -hmm. 
It is. Oh, okay. Interesting. The one thing I will say is that it the the one that one picture, it's a little bit it's there, there's two full like outfits oh, and then that other yeah. one is is Lana, do you want to add something before I Oh no, I think it's good. It, it, all the pictures are uh, definitely a um, like you said, evolution of who she is. So I appreciate and am interested in where mm -hmm. she does in this season. So I got a little bit of of bitch pudding from her at times. Yeah. Oh, I like that. The That's first comparison, I like. Uh, how do you say it? Adidas. Adidas. I don't know how you say the name. Yeah. Adidas, because we're because we're American. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then the other, yeah, the, the mustache one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This okay, I'm answer. gonna. So I'm gonna say it's it's quite difficult because they're so different. Yeah, and you are allowed one tie at one point. So whenever you feel like you need to have a tie, go for it. No, I don't think I'm going to tie it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do something bold, especially after what uh, David just said. I'm going to go with, I think I like the one where you see the least outfit the most. I really like her makeup there, and her eyes are so vibrant there. Um, I'm then going to go with, oh, God. I'm then going to go with her press day look, I think. Yeah. And then with the Adidas. Very difficult one. Should I give arguments? So me? Chloe hates me, got it. Oh, no. <laughs> so Chloe hates me, got it. But you know who else Chloe hates? Adidas. Ad a day. Sorry, I'm still learning names. Yeah, because yeah, I was like, I was like, she had to have sent in the one that I picked, she picked right? That one, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. It's a great photo, and I like. It came across. I I came across it. I was like, that's wildly different from everything else she has going on. I like that. It is good. Yeah, I was gonna pick that. Not good enough for Chloe. <laughs> it's see, for me, it, the the that look, the Adidas look, it looks very good. But, and I've noticed it with her promo look as well, there's a sense of taste that is not particularly my sense of taste. Like the mm -hmm. orange with the green hair, I'm like, oof. Mm -hmm. Green is for me something that I don't really see together. Yeah. Not that green with that orange. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And yeah, I do typically like to have a full like body picture, but this one, I just thought her face looked so good um, that like you really see her makeup skills. And that was like one of the earliest photos she had. And yeah, like, that, I almost get like bitch pudding plus Joey J out of that. Well, I don't see Joey J. I definitely no? see bitch pudding. No, no Joey J. But yeah, that, eyes. I don't either. <laughs> when, when you said when you said it's the oldest picture, I was like, oh, am I gonna rate? Her oldest drag the highest. Like yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't be. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's oh, perfectly it's fine. fine. I'm not mad. She looks great on all three pictures. I agree. We're okay. gonna move along to Le Philippe. Yes, Le Philippe, who I enjoyed going through her Instagram. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really enjoyed it. I thought she was so. Crazy. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. I believe Le that. Phil's so. IP address? No, David. Mm. No, David. That no. was funny. No, it wasn't. Le Phil IP? Oh Nobody God. laughed, gonna... David. Nobody yeah. laughed. No. Sorry. Okay. Yep. I got exactly where you went with that, and I didn't think it was funny. <laughs> so, hey, I'm allowed to be mean. I'm allowed to be mean to you for just this current moment because you're beating me right now. I was just about to say, listen, at least you're good at rating the pictures. Yeah. You don't. Yeah, you don't mm -hmm. have to. Do it. You don't have to be comedian. You don't have to be. Can't funny. be good at everything. You can't be good at everything. No. No. Anyway, the Philippe 
Look number one. And then look number two. And then look number three. Okay. A lovely, solid collection of looks. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's gorgeous. gorgeous. That's that's really all I had to take away from it. I was like, she's gorgeous. These looks are great. That first picture, and don't tell me yet, uh, because if anyone can add information, that is not her makeup. I'm pretty sure that that's Medusa from France who did that makeup. Let me know mm -hmm. after. If, if someone can see the reference later, let me know because I'm curious if I managed to recognize it. Um, but that is not her makeup. She looks brilliant though. But that is Medusa that I see. And I don't know that queen personally. But um, Okay. Does anyone want to add something? Yes. Yeah, I, I think that she's one of the more polished queens uh, from this group especially going through her instagram like it's a lot of like demure looks but just very like put together um maybe not the biggest drag which i tend to like but that's okay and i do think there's a bit of range here too um even with the outfits like none of these three outfits look like they would be wear worn like at the same event you know um like one's a little bit more like casual but beautiful and then you have one that's like a red carpet and then one that's a little like, I don't know, futuristic performer. I don't know. I was very intrigued by the one in the orange because her, her face is just so different there. So it is interesting if a different queen painted her because I'm like, I didn't know she could do that. I don't think she did. <laughs> I just think it's such a co different uh, collection of pictures but all cohesive to her like this is someone who's showing that I could I felt at first I was like oh she's gonna be this cute you know starlet Hollywood starlet you know very much red carpet kind of queen very much you know beauty and fashion kind of girl but then we see this orange pic the picture in the orange is like oh this oh but she can't switch it up if she needs to and I appreciate that. I think all three three looks are good in their own way. She looks beautiful regardless of what the makeup is looking like. So I'm loving all three of these looks, honestly. I think they're giving very different points of view, but all from the same person. I just sneaked. It doesn't say it. So I'm going to assume, because she gives credits to everyone else, so I'm going to assume that it is her. So I'm very sorry. You look very <laughs> Um I'm just quickly going to show you the person, because I just saw her, that I'm this. Uh, oh, it's too far. Oh, I okay. see what you're saying. I see what you, I see what you mean. Especially yeah. those eyebrows. Mm -hmm. The eyebrows yes, and yeah. the eyes. Basically, I was like the dark, the dark crease and then the very lifted brow. I was like, that's her. But, you know, we'll leave it in the middle, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you guys see it as well. Um, okay. I am going to say... I'm going to tie, I think. Ooh. I'm going to tie. Okay. I'm going to tie orange and black gown. Okay. And then the zebra. So in this case, does that mean zebra gets zero? Is that how we're doing the point? Well, that's, well how we've done it before there has to be here, no? is that it's still second. It's still second. So zebra gets one. <laughs> Lana, Lana was very quick with that one. Yeah, oh, no, well, the reason, one. The, the, well, the reason I'm trying to say that is because I didn't want David to get another point. I know, I but, know. Yes, Lana, yeah, Lana. <laughs> oh, how the this mighty have the fallen. One, this is the one that I was kind of like, oh, I'm going to be really sad because I, I, I love the composition of this photo. Oh, I okay. love That's why I picked mine. The, well, the reason I picked mine was because her makeup was so different. And I pointed that out immediately. And I was like, oh, no, I have to pick this. Like, it's so good. But 
I picked no mine because statements. of the composition of the photo. I like the the way she's it's looking gorgeous. up and the it's gown gorgeous. is kind of like into that pool of just it's just the con uh, the composition of this photo was so brilliantly taken. I was like, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. And I think why I so I I follow Le Philippe already for a mm. long time. And I think I've gotten I I scored the um, upper picture the lowest because that's what I've seen from her. Mm -hmm. so it's, that, that's her. That that's full on Le Philippe. And with the other two, it's like it was, I have not noticed these pictures. But yeah, algorithm. So of course. I will take having one win in this. Thank you. And I am very happy to share it with Lana. Thank you. Thank you. Because at this point, Lana is the only this at this point, Lana is the only person that can beat David. So um <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it gladly. Oh. So they don't want you to win, David. I know the haters. He's won like he's won like five of them, Chloe. Like that's why we don't want him to win. I have because good he's taste. won. <laughs> and you usually pick first. That is not true. Um, <laughs> that is very not. true. No, because I'm usually like, speaking. I don't want to win again, so you all go first. And then I anyway, let's talk about <laughs> Leona Winter and the fact that I was very shocked at how little was on her Instagram. I feel like a lot of people cleared a lot out of their Instagrams once they got they might have. on the show. I feel like she's been on on Queen of the Universe, mm -hmm. so I would say that right. Well, the we have <laughs> anything left to delete? I would say I don't know, but let's take a look at our curated collection for Leona Winter. So, look number one. Look number two. Press. Yeah. And look number three. Also press, right? Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. So so our collection for Leona consists of two press looks and a look from Queen of the Universe. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is an easy one. Okay. Um, I I will say before we get your results, Chloe, I think Leona's very talented. I think what she's showing on her Instagram is not derivative of the professionalism and the polish of her drag that we are going to get on Drag Race. And I'm thrilled to see her in a Drag Race sphere. I'm very excited to see how she reacts. Yeah, and I think the reason I'm excited for her is because she's not necessarily there for her looks, but because of her talent. Like, we know that she's a talented queen. So I really think she could do well in challenges. But she still has pretty good looks, too. Like, these are these are all really good looks. Um, one's a little on the nose, but that's okay. Um, I still I still think she has stunning makeup, too. Um, and for some reason, like, I wasn't here to say it, but for some reason, I'm getting, like, the gay version of Maddie Morphosis <laughs> a little bit. Like, sometimes she paints, like, Maddie Morphosis, except more polish, maybe. No shade to Maddie. How dare you disrespect fellow YouTuber Maddie Morphosis like that, David? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like all of these looks are very polished and clean and, and pretty. I love good hat moments, so y'all know I, 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 I live for good hat moments. I've got two good hat moments and a hood. A hood. Like, come on. You can't really go wrong. And I don't mind the on the nose. I think the on the nose is kind of cute. It's like, yep. you know what? Sometimes we got to be literal about what we're saying like this is what it is bam period and get, get right to the point i think all three looks are so beautiful i think she's beautiful um i'm interested in seeing if what she has like translates to the show because we see a lot of queens we're just like we're like oh they're great queens but they're not great for drag race because they, it doesn't translate well to drag race but I don't know. I'm excited to see if her Queen of the Universe background could translate into what we see on Drag Race and if she's going to be that girly that we see very fashion for. You mean, Lana, Queen of the Universe? <laughs> sure. I wasn't going to say it because I guess I wanted you to do I it. I could say it twice while two different franchises are on TV <laughs> right now. Wait, wait, we I'm love that for you. I love that but, for you. Well, you know, you know, I would. I was going to say one more. Th oh, so if if she were to win this franchise, 
could she count as a two-time winner since she's actually won um she would drag race the switch i don't think people count those as winners though i don't know that people technically count her as a winner of a drag race franchise since the switch was like they tacked on drag race because Mm -hmm. they had candy ho and gia gun on right um (laughs) thankfully she beat thankfully she beat gia gun we'll take that any day of the week (laughs) um but i don't know that i would personally but anyway Chloe, let's hear your very easy decision. <laughs> so, um, I like all three of them, um, but the one I like the most is the one in black at the fountain. The second one is the zebra. Is it a zebra print? I'm not sure. I the think so. And then it's the one on the nose. I'll tell you why. I don't mind the one on the nose, but there is zero shape. Honey, it's given Lufa. And so that's a scotch, a <laughs> scotch of Lufa. So we're back in the game. Good job. We're back in the game. I'll take that. And to be, fair to, to be fair to Lana, I'm sure Queen of the Universe was like, do things that are very st- stereotypical for ants. <laughs> like, oh, I'm surprised did. she doesn't have a baguette I- in her hand. <laughs> I like the loofah. That's why I picked it. I was like, I don't mind That's fair. the loofah. I don't care. When you said that, and I was like, that is the most Lana pick for an Instagram mm-hmm. video that I've ever seen. Because it, it's no, and I mean that in the most loving way, because it's all of the things that you do love. You love bigger, grandiose looks with like drama and that. And I do agree with Chloe a little bit. I don't personally love the look a whole lot, but it's all the things you love in drag, which I love for you. That sounded like a read, and it really wasn't. I mean, if it's only a read if I take it as a read, and so I don't. So whatever, we move because I love my taste, and I still love this look. I think it's cute. It's good. I would wear it. I would wear it, and I would love to look, see you wear. And it. I would look very American and French at the same time. Don't <laughs> just tack it. on some tack on. No, take the hood and just tack on stars. That's all you need Absolutely. to do. Absolutely, that's it really all stars you need. All the way down the whole side. What do you mean? I'll have well, I'm saying because it's specifically the you know what I mean. Just I, the blue I part. I know, but yeah. I would have because I'm me and extra. I would put stars all over the place because. Why not? I'm a star. I support you. I support you. <laughs> and so. I would have a hat with stars coming out of it. Oh, would would you just have a would would your hat just be star shaped? Absolutely, a star fascinator hat. What? <laughs> we're already <laughs> thinking about looks for DragCon next year because then we're not able to produce that in, in two months. <laughs> I'm extra, though. Yeah, I would. Her. Let's move to Lula Strega. A name that plagues a lot of our panelists here because most of us don't know how to say it properly, David Healy, or spell it properly, David Healy. What I? How do I spell it? You said Lulu. Oh, oops. This woman's <laughs> name is that Lulu. It's better it's than Lulu uh, what it's I said at first. <laughs> well, the, it's okay. This is one that starts with an M. <laughs> Never mind. It's, it's an L. <laughs> Literally in my messages, David's like, I think her name starts with an M. No, just kidding. This is Lulu. <laughs> like, <laughs> just send them in alphabetical order, David. Sorry, uh, Lula. Lula. No, you got a whole season to get her name right. So let's we'll see if you, you can do that. We got you, Lula. Lula Strega. All right, <laughs> Chloe, here's your look number one. Your look number two. And your look number three. I, really know. I, was just I don't think any of these are press either. The I think second one of me is one of them are. The, the oh, one, one with the hat is. Yep, that is very much press. Oh, cute. Okay. Um, I feel like this could. My. Journey with Lula on this Instagram journey was like, I don't know what to pick, girl. You ain't got a whole lot, but all right. She maybe had the least. It was, it was, it was very slim. And I was like, okay. Um, It was her and one other girl. And I do not remember, I don't remember who it was offhand, but it was Lula and someone else that I was like, 
okay, there's not a whole lot to pick from, but what is here is good. Well, she cleared out her Instagram before. Uh, yeah, uh, I, must, I feel like she well, cleared it out. It, it was it's interesting, but I don't know. So the, like moment was, these, the moment these casts drop, we really, we really got to be going in. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Lana. Just rude for no reason. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I, as much as I enjoyed some of the pictures in her Instagram, I felt like I was bored. So I'm not really sure what to expect or what I expect. She left me with more questions than answers. This Instagram left me with more questions than answers, but that's not always a bad thing because I feel like it leaves me to be more open to what she can bring to the show. And I'm not fully like, okay, this is her POV. This is what she did, what she's about as drag as a drag queen. So it leaves me open to be like, okay, what well, what is she? What does she bring? And I can't wait to see it. So I, it's not a bad thing to be have more questions, but I, I just can't wait for I'm impatient, so I'm really ready to see the eight answers to my questions. <laughs> You're really only gonna have to wait like two days. <laughs> so impatient, so <laughs> Yeah, I kind of agree with Lana. Like, I am not sure who she is yet. Um, I don't know that there's a specific point of view that I got, like, going through her Instagram looks. Like, they were all good looks. Um, but it just leaves me, like, questioning, like, ooh, what about you, like, demanded? Like, oh, we have to cast her. Yeah. And I'm sure there's reasons. And I can't wait to see what they are. Um, and I'm sure she's going to have really incredible looks on the show. Um, she's probably saving the best for that, which is what you're supposed to do. Right. So yeah, overall, not bad. I get, I get like cabaret artsy is the vibe that I came away from her Instagram with. And I would say matching that with her promo. Like I, I get a little bit of that, especially with her press look. I think the press look is a very interesting look, especially to do for like all of your press stuff drink every time I said press in that sentence. Um, but yeah, that's the vibe I got. I'm also excited to see what she does. So, Chloe, over to you. Um, I actually think that based off like what I've seen from her, I think she's going to be very fashionable. It's it's the the use of the fabrics. It's just the styling of the wigs. Everything goes well together. Um, her shape is all is always like she's she's always cinched. She always has um, a nice set of I don't know if it's hips, hip pads or if it's just because of the corset. But anyway, it's really well done. I think she's gonna be really good with with um, runways and stuff. I'm pretty sure of that. Um. In terms of scores, it's going to have to be um, the gold corset with the red and the, the black. And that's the first one. Then it's going to be pressed, and then it's going to be the black and gold for me. So it's gold, hey, black, I'll, black and gold. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Sorry, Lana. It's all, all three of them are good. Mm -hmm. I good, literally yeah. did that this morning. Was like, I'm probably not winning today because I am not feeling oh, like going through in all these pictures. Like, I literally was like, this is the first one I saw. I'm picking it. So, <laughs> wow. I'm probably not winning today, and I'm fine with this. It's just, I'm happy for Logan and I'm happy for David to just go and rock this out. But watch yeah, Lana end up winning. Watch Lana win. <laughs> I know I what what didn't benefit the picture uh, the black picture is that it's a black background with the black mm -hmm. outfit like I just had a look on her Instagram because you guys were saying of like um and it it looks better if you see it properly but still for me it's it's yeah I, I it's loved like, mine I loved mine, so I'm so happy that you that you picked it because it's like it, the way she just blends into the painting. That's a, it's a very me pick. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy. With that. It's very artsy. I like it. Yeah, when it when it popped up, I'm like, oh yeah, that's probably winning. Um, but it's funny because it wasn't even on my short list. Um, I don't think I got a good look of it like up close, 
And I think when I was scrolling, I'm like a bodysuit and then like didn't even give it a thought. But now I really like it. It's a corset. Yeah. It's not a bodysuit. Okay. No. I don't know terms. David doesn't fashion um, in the way that Lana and I fashion and the more so the way Chloe fashions. <laughs> um, but yeah, David is not the fashion expert. Of what? Channel. I know. I, shocking. Look how fashionable I am now. But yet he won five times. Yes, right. very fashionable. He has good taste. It doesn't mean he's <laughs> he's good at describing fashion. I don't know but... He won't describe them right, but he'll look, <laughs> know what looks good. He knows what looks good. I like yeah. the Russian down at the bottom. God. The Russian? We're, Not the, the Russian. We're gonna, we're gonna move along, and before we talk about Magnetica, who I am arguably the most excited to talk about today, um, and I think this is going to be the closest uh, decision uh, amongst any of them here, uh, I would like to do a halfway point, point check-in. Um, it's actually very close, which makes me happy. Um, so Lana, you are still currently sitting in third with four points. Um, I'm currently in second with six, but David only has seven. Uh -oh. So it is anybody's game. This one could go anyway with Miss Magnet Miss Magnetica here. Miss Magnetica here. I am excited. I am titillated. I am intrigued. And I'm fascinated by this casting choice. And I cannot wait to see what they present on the show. So without further ado. We're going to dive into look number one. Press. Yes. I don't know. I, I just feel the need to clock the press. <laughs> I mean, too. Please me do. too. Me too. I, I'm me a big too. fan of it now, so please do. Me too. I'm like, <laughs> press. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look number two. Not press. Not, <laughs> Not press. press. And look number three. Wait, definitely not press. No, but I'm just going to look on Instagram because I want to see what's on top. You can see it on nothing. this one. It's, it's bald. Oh. Oh, yeah. It She's was bald. like cut it off. It was it's cut off. Bald, yeah. yeah, it's uh, the way that I have to format this, the slides in order to make it work for the podcast is weird. But yeah, it's just um, bald greenhead. Okay. I already said my piece at the start, and that's mm. still how I feel. <laughs> yeah, I think with these three looks, it just shows how creative Magnetica is. And it makes me so excited to see what she is going to bring to the show and how her talent translates to drag race and the, the themes that they throw it at them. Because, like, I just like her makeup skills are incredible. It's it's clear her makeup skills are amazing. And if she can pull this off in the time that she has to do it on the show and it looks this good, it's it's gonna be fabulous to watch. But also it's going to be interesting to see, like I said, the translation, like they give her a theme of something eleganza, extravaganza, whatever how she creates and turns that into her, but also fit the, I just, I'm excited. She is the one that made me really excited about this season. About, and I was like, oh, I'm so excited to see what she brings. And um, going through her Instagram only made that build. So I'm excited. Yeah, I, so I, I didn't uh, join for the cast assessment and I didn't really even, take a, a good individual look at cast photos before I started pulling Instagram looks. So I had just seen like the broad picture of the cast together. And so as I was going through all the Instagrams, I went alphabetically as I was going through and I don't want this to sound shady, but I was like, okay. Okay. And that's just how I kept feeling every time I went through an Instagram and then I got to her and I'm like, this is what I was waiting for. This is what I was waiting for. This is the epitome of my kind of queen. Like, if there's yes. a style that I like, it's this. Like, this quirky type of style. So I was so excited. And I'm actually kind of surprised one look didn't make it on here. 
uh because two of these were in my top three but yeah i just think she's so creative she's gonna be refreshing like really refreshing we've never had anybody quite like her on uh drag race france um in fact i maybe like mommy wata <laughs> was surprisingly similar to this in ways with some of her looks uh like that spongebob look i feel like she might do something like that um but now if you're going only for references within drag race france right that's what i'm sticking with is france like who is the closest to her in france <laughs> in france yeah rose <laughs> No, Rose, come on. I wouldn't say Mami Wata. No, I'm just saying like a couple of Mami Wata's looks were like very outside of the box. Um, and that's, she's completely outside of the box. And I, I can't wait I, for I, years. Or what about um, Sarah Forever? I would maybe say Sarah Forever. Yeah, maybe. In the way that I think their minds work very similarly. Mm -hmm. But it's still like outside of the box woman, you know, this is outside sure. of the box creature. Um, sure. But yeah, I can't wait to see like years from now what her Instagram looks like, because there's going to be so many cool things on there. So many cool things. Chloe. Yeah, I am 100% sure that uh, no matter how far she is going to make it onto the season, um, her Instagram will be on fire for sure. Um, I'm also 100% sure that she has everything thought out in terms of like pictures and stuff. It's all going to be very conceptual, I think, uh, which we love. Um, I have, however, made my decision. I'm going to, the blue. Oh, this is a very easy one to, to say. It's just going to be like, blue is number one. Cow is number two, and green is number three. Oh, didn't expect that. I didn't either. I love the frog look. I love it. I do too. I love it. <laughs> ah. I'll tell you. <coughs> that, uh -oh. No, you won't tell you. me why, because this is my <laughs> karma coming for you, Chloe. <laughs> I'll tell you why. All the yeah. all three pictures are really great. Gorgeous. Yes. The ball cap for me, I would have loved to see something with the pink coming back on top of the head. It's mm -hmm. down to like totally. the ball cap there, to my personal opinion. I get that. No mind uh like a ball cap i love it uh it can be very conceptual i'm just it's all volume down and there's nothing up here and i would have loved to see something like come back with that tongue i don't know make it like the whole twist and back up and something sure fair uh, fair enough fair enough i'll take it but all three are great they're all great they definitely are Let's move to Misty Phoenix. I think she might have been the other one that I was like, oh, there's not a whole lot to work with here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it was her and um, Lula Strega were the two that I was like, there's not a whole lot to work with. But I I like what we have selected from Misty. And here we go. She's so skinny. She is a twig. She's so Here's small. Like, oh. Yeah. Ugh. Number one. Number two. Does she do ballet? I believe so. Is that press? Press. Press. <laughs> yeah. Press press. Yes. <laughs> press indeed. I didn't see that. I love that all three of us collected immediately. We're like, it's so press. press. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it it it's not a it's not a wide selection um, of things to look on on Instagram, but what is there is is good, and I think she's going to bring a unique fashion perspective to the runway. So I'm interested to see what she's going to do. It was not press. We were wrong. Oh well, this was press. Yeah, oh yeah, um, it did say press. That is, that's true. And, and that is an outfit from uh, Gilask, and that's she borrowed it from Come. Because oh. that that was come, uh, or she maybe she bought it. Cute. Does it say it? Um, 
Gillesquin. It says Gil Gillesquin. Yeah. Yeah. But Cam is not credited. But maybe she just bought it from her second hand. Potentially. But I, I know I've seen Cam in that. Um, yeah, she's another like question mark for me. Um, but I'll say this is an optimistic question mark because I do think she, to me, she seems like somebody who maybe um, hasn't had like the most money to spend on looks but she still like makes like makes sure that she has really creative concepts or at least uh at least there's effort behind them. I don't know if she makes them or if she buys all of her looks, but um I do think there's a lot of potential for her to be a pretty intriguing um I don't know, a competitor in this season. So big question mark, but optimistic. Yeah, that's how I feel. I don't know what she's going to bring, but I'm excited to see what she brings. Chloe? Um, I find this one really difficult. I don't want to tie. I already did my tie anyway, so I can't do it. Legally speaking, according to the legal laws that we created <laughs> for this podcast that are written down. <laughs> um... Okay, I'm gonna go with. Okay, I've made my decision. <laughs> um, I will do the paper dress, the black with the black gloves with the black latex mm -hmm. gloves. Um, that's number one. Swan Princess is number two, and then the checker dress. Is number three and the checker dress is number three because i don't feel like the dress and then this the stolas have anything to do with each other and that's Fair. the only thing i could base it off lana how much are you fuming right now um, i am fuming with david right now i'm fuming with david um fuming because that was my picture and i was like well Okay. Oops. Yeah. Hey, at least we I, both I have don't good wanna things. win, but oops. <laughs> I don't wanna win, but I'm gonna pick all the best pictures, but I don't wanna win. Yeah. Whatever. Look, it's a good Whatever. picture. Uh honestly, like I, I could see like Morphe wearing something like that. Maybe it's the oh, makeup yeah. that's making she, me think that she too. wore so she wore a paper dress for a pride. Oh, okay. Um yeah, I I I was very happy with my selection, but I, I thought there were other like good ones too. Like the press, the press one. I'm surprised nobody picked that. Yeah, because everybody was trying to stay away from press pictures all the time. I, literally, I was trying to stay away from press photos. <laughs> like, That's I why I pulled the one that I did because I, I I went a little bit deeper and I was like, oh, I really like this ballerina look. It, that feels different. I'm excited to see if she is a dancer. I believe she is based on yeah. what I saw on her on her. Yeah, Beauty Queens. Uh, she also said it. Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. I remember that. Uh, from the little bit I understood of that Meet the Queens, <laughs> yes. Um, I still don't think they have English subtitles for that Meet the Queens. How is it? Why That's is fun. That? That's all. I don't know. We had I English know. subtitles, right? When you watched ours, we, um, we didn't. I think ours were auto translated. Oh when yeah, we did right. the cast assessment. That's right. Because we did it so soon after the cast dropped. That they but didn't have it yet. Well, well presents. No, we uh, Lana and I watched it on YouTube. I had people from Italy sending me th the day that it was announced from Well Presents. Well, it, it, it wasn't all for US, us. It, it might be a US geoblock thing, honestly, because yeah, that does happen in have some franchises for us. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because I remember I asked them. I was like, "Wait, you're watching it where?" And they were like, "Oh, Well Presents." And I was I, like, as someone, as someone with a VPN who has watched WoW Presents from a different country, quote unquote, um, it's very different. It's a very wow. different experience okay. um, outside of the US, at least from my limited experience. But yeah. yes, let's move to Norma Bell, who I am very excited about after this. And I will give my reasonings after we look at the looks. So 
Book number one. Press. Book number I was two. waiting press. for it. I knew it was going to press. Sh- Someone Honey. was going to pick the press look. <laughs> this, she should have done for the promo. Like, it's like coral. Why did Literally. She- right. You know? And then look number three. Okay. She's this, gorgeous. I was just gonna say that's all I'm gonna say. Beautiful. She's yes. gorgeous, and it's it. These pictures show how like beautiful she actually is. It's it's so stunning, and three different pictures, but all of them are stunning. And um, I can't wait to see what she is going to bring to the show because I don't know. I feel like she's she could be considered a fashion girly. But, like, I don't know. Do you have questions? But I'm very, very intrigued and excited to, to get those questions answered. But I, I, all I know is I'm going to enjoy watching her because she's stunning. And, you know, I, I enjoy watching beautifully, beautiful, stunning, aesthetically pleasing things to my eyes. So I'm going to enjoy watching Norma. But yeah, all these pictures are gorgeous. All of these pictures are gorgeous and um, intriguing in their own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was interesting for me because I actually picked out um, photos for for, uh, her before I listened to your all's uh, cast assessment. And uh, honestly, I, I understand why, but it was not like the most excitement for her with her her pro promo look but i was like oh she actually had some of my favorite like instagram looks and i think there was a lot of options which helped um but she just has like a a very like classy um sense of style i think there there were so many good ones um she actually kind of reminds me of um ruby ocean from drag race brazil um i can see them oh Yes. Okay, yeah. Same drag I, universe, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same fashion senses too. Even in the face, they kind of look a little bit alike. I was gonna I was gonna say, and I would I would say in the way they do their makeup as well, because they're both um gorgeous women with very gorgeous bone structure and do a lot of like very angular lines with their makeup. Mm. So yeah, no, that I'm on I'm on board with that. I might accidentally call her Ruby at some point because don't like do that because there is a Ruby on this season, which is throwing me off. <laughs> oh yeah. Sounds. On the nail. Mm-hmm. We'll get to her shortly. Actually, she's the last one we'll get to. <laughs> <laughs> so Chloe over to you, my darling. Well, I will say it's the, the pictures. There's, one picture that's like without being too rude there's two pictures that are quite pedestrian and then there's one that's a lot more so you know i don't know who picked but uh, my number one is going to be the press look so with the red the coral thing um number two is going to be i did look on Instagram because I wanted to see it up a little bit closer. Um, number two is going to be the dress. Number three is the blazer. And I'll tell you why number three is the blazer. Both are a little bit more pedestrian. Um, but the glove and the blazer threw it off for me. Because that pink with that pink is not pinking. Yeah. It's not pinking at all. That's fine. And you know who mm-hmm. wasn't pinking either? David, when he picked a press look. <laughs> but there were other really good looks, too. Like, I'm surprised. Yeah. I, I looked and I was like, oh, there's other pictures that it still would have been the press look. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I just really liked this dress and I liked this, like, pose that she was in. And I thought it was, like, a very powerful image. And that's honestly why I picked it. Yeah. yeah. I thought for sure somebody was going to pick this. This was my second pick. I thought about it. I thought about it for sure. I don't love doing a a close up face thing because of how many times I've been burned by that on this series. So, and I really like this version of that top look. 
Like I thought this photo oh, was yeah. better personally. It's still the glove. The pink is not pinking in the glove for me. Mm. All of you are crazy for not pinking in the pink because that is a very <laughs> cute pink going with that pink. It's a contrast pink. It's a mono. You just said the pink isn't pinking in the gloves. Well, but I also picked pink. <laughs> but you just said the pink ain't pinking in the gloves. And I'm like, you're I crazy. agree with that, but I'm just I don't saying agree I'm with also that at all because I simultaneously think and parallel to you, I am also pinking. So no, you're not you're 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 a disgrace to me because my pinking and the pinking and the gloves is pinking because it's giving monochromatic but different tones of the same of pink. And I liked the way that looked. I like the darker pink with the lighter pink and then giving me all that leg. So but whatever, not my choice. I'm not the judge here. I'm just gonna go by what you say and I'm going to lose this whole thing. And I'm okay with that. It's okay. It's fine. We move. Let's move to <laughs> Welcome, Chloe, to Instagram and how competitive we get. Mm-hmm. We get very competitive. <laughs> and I'm just here like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, all right. Perseo! It shows that you care. Yes, absolutely. Even when David steamrolls, as he does sometimes. Anyway, Perseo! Book number one. And then look number two. And then look over three. Look number three. Look over three. <laughs> look over three. Look over three. <laughs> there was not a lot to pick from. This is about every option that we could have exhausted. <laughs> oh. But she's but, pretty. Yeah, even even with there not being a lot of options, and even with this kind of looking, I mean, there, nothing even close to like a professional photo. I still am intrigued by her because she's not just like everybody else. She's clearly got her own lane. Um, so I'm hoping that she was able to like scrape up some nice cash and get her perspective in her brain to actually reflect some really high quality looks because if she does that i think she could be one of the best look queens this season um so i see a lot of very very raw potential and i don't hate any of these by any means so we'll see hello again i'm left with so many more questions and i have answers And I think it's because I'm now getting used to seeing what a lot of the Canary Queens would bring to different franchises of the show. And I'm like, where is that Canary Queen aesthetic that I'm grown accustomed to? But also, I'm not mad if she's like, I'm not going to give you that exact same Canary Queen aesthetic. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you my own twist of a canary queen aesthetic and i'm not mad at that either so i'm very intrigued i don't know what to expect and i'm okay with that i'd rather just wait and see and I'm, i like to be on a wait and see basis with with the queens like just wait and see what i got and then i'm like oh either i'm intrigued and i love it or i don't and i'm like eh, whatever but i mean in, i'm intrigued to see what she got and i can't wait to, to see how this queen shows out for the Canary Queens on this franchise. Her. Chloe. I'm pretty sure she also cleaned up her Instagram. Mm. Probably. 14 pictures. I don't believe that. And also, yeah. like, I do believe that you have to be kind of active on social media in order to you know, you need to be able to show show. something to get on the show, you know. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to imagine for the two looks where I don't really see a lot of bottom part, I'm going to assume that it's all some kind of skirt, but then matching with the top. So, I'm 
Lala, honestly, I'm praying that I'll, just, I'll say a good one, but <laughs> I don't know what you just said. What did you pick? What did you pick? I have not yet. Oh, um, okay. I'm going to say the 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 one on the terrace. To me, looks best. Then I'm going to say green. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to say green, and then I'm going to say pink. <laughs> well, Chloe. Well, Chloe, you did not pick me again. You, <laughs> you hate me. You love David. You hate me. See, Logan wanted to start this podcast. I was like, oh, Chloe hates me. No, Logan. <laughs> no. no. Chloe you hates me. You bought her shirt? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was I mean, so, so it was a it was a non rhinestone Chloe Clark shirt that made the difference <laughs> here today. Chloe hates me. I could have no, rhinestoned okay. a tank top no. for you, Chloe. Let's be real. <laughs> it's the order that we submitted in. <laughs> the order, this one, hundred percent. David picked by far the only look that you could pick. Yeah. It was the only one. Like uh, there that's was really no other option. That's fine. There's there's no like if if one picks the best one and, and you're stuck with the Exactly. Yeah. Two other ones. You well, have to go that. well, we have come to our final queen. Um I don't want to talk about points for either of mine or Lana's sake. Um, but we've got Ruby on the nail to talk about. Okay. Can I ask what's what's so like intriguing about her name? Am I not getting it? It's it's something about a uh, uh, in French. It's like I don't know what it means, but it has a, a meaning. If you translate it in French, it's like something. It has a meaning. Okay. <laughs> about, about not paid or paid. I don't know. It has a. Hold on, I'm doing some quick research. <laughs> okay, I was like Ruby on the nail, like. Oh. Like the so her drag name, I'm going to butcher this French right now, so don't. So her drag name comes from the expression Pierre Ruby se Longel. Butchered. <laughs> I, I told you I was going to butcher it. Okay, we don't need to acknowledge the fact that I butchered it. Okay, <laughs> I'm learning French. I'm not fluent. But listen, and that's coming from me. I, mean, <laughs> I was going to say, and there's no one fluent in French on this podcast today. So. Bonjour. <laughs> I've been to France. <laughs> Great. Thanks, David. Anyway, let's talk about Ruby. Wait, you did not, you did not uh, finish the name thing. Oh, yeah. How does that relate to... I'm trying to translate it right now because I thought I clicked on a link. Uh, I'll do it while we look at all three looks together. Okay. Look number well, one. Nice talk, and I'll look it up. <laughs> okay. Well, here's your look number two, Chloe. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. What was the first one? Not press. Not press. Not press. Not press. Press. <laughs> Welcome to our newest game. Not press, not press. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm I'm gonna look it up right now. Don't worry. I'm I'm on it. No, I'm gonna look it up. No, I'm kidding. Um no, I, I'm gonna be Liberace. <laughs> um, it's interesting. I think she might be the oldest or tied for the oldest at 34. And that's like five years younger than me, but I still like get such like old school drag from her in a good way, in a good way. Like uh, almost like star going through her Instagram. I'm like, okay, I can see or like the, the vibe I got from bump of love. I don't know. Like she feels very seasoned, like beyond her years. Like you're not old, <laughs> but you're giving energy. Like you've been doing this forever. Um, so I think she has a lot of pretty good looks. Um, not always the best photos. Um, I think we got some of the best photos that she has on her Instagram as far as quality. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm very intrigued to see what she has to bring this season. Yeah, I, I don't really have a whole lot to say. Um, I don't know if it's just me in particular, maybe it's my taste in, in, in Queens and drag. I don't like hairy chested queens. That's just not my vibe. 
Yeah, I know. You kind of probably like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that with all this hair and chest that you are showing today. But I don't yes. like it for, for me. I, I mean, I love a bearded queen. I don't like the hairy chested queen. That's just me. That's Thank my vibe. Man. But going David, through I have enough for everyone. Don't worry. I'm about to say, you're fine. You don't need to show your (laughs) not hairy chest. Um, (laughs) But I am going through her pictures, though, because at first I was like, oh, I don't really like that. I don't know if I'm going to like it. But going through her pictures, I was like, but I do like that. And I do like that. So I feel like she has a, a she has versatility in her looks and her. Her, her style. I do agree with you, David. She sometimes comes a little older than what she is, mm-hmm. but I don't know if that's a bad thing. Maybe that's just her point of view. Like, I want to be that mature queen because, you know, I don't mind that if that's what you want to do. I don't know. I, I kind of went on a journey with her throughout this into Instagram look. I was like, I don't know if I like it, but I kind of like it. Maybe I do like it, but I don't know if I like it. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about her on the show. So we'll see. She's a very open book for me. Like, I'm very open-ended, left open-ended with her. Meanwhile, I came away from her Instagram saying, oh, she's cute out of drag. <laughs> that was my takeaway personally um so okay her name i did come up with an answer and i did just read a whole article about it so the her name comes from a phrase literally translated to say to pay ruby on the nail um which is an expression that comes from like 17th century french like high society uh basically it means to pay something in full Okay. So if you're going to book Ruby on the nail, pay her in full. Pay her is in full basically baby. what it is. Yeah. I love that for her. It's sure. a really cute, like reading, reading this whole article about it. I'm like, oh, that's very clever. Now that I know I'm like, I, I like her a lot more now. So. So she's not going to be like a queen we heard about recently that might have gotten a lot of looks for a upcoming season and didn't pay the designers for them. Uh, doesn't sound like it. No, I think uh, I think she probably paid in full for all of her looks. I would hope. Oh, for her. Or, no, no, I know who you're talking about. I can't remember. Mm. Eureka. Oh. <laughs> right, I saw that one. Chloe. However, that designer should have to pay me to wear that. Um, <laughs> oh. I see the thing is, I get it. She, well, that's something else. Anyway. Um, what's it called? I think I'm going to go with. Oh my God. Why is it going to be number one? Top. I'm gonna pick. I don't know what wig she's wearing though. I'm gonna pick pick pink as number two and red as number three. We take those. We take those. (laughs) We take those. Chloe's like, I have to stop picking David's press looks. <laughs> well, I I mean, I like all three of them, but it seems like uh, white and pink is a lot more her style. And yeah. then I like the the uh, press seems a little bit off then. And it, it seems a little, it seems a bit more on the nose or on the nail in this case, ruby on just because it is ru- it is it is a ruby color. She's like doing a bit of monochromatic with like the black bodysuit and the the tights. So like I like that. I like the press look a lot. It's not my favorite of the press looks, um, but I think my favorite press look obviously is Magnetica. But mm-hmm. like whatever. So, um, but I love Lana getting another win in this category. Yeah. Well, Finally. okay. I mean, it doesn't change the outcome of this uh, this Instagram review, which means congratulations. With 15 points, David has won. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. 
I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> Um, so our She's final never score gonna come back. <laughs> oh no, Lana's gone. Um, David ended with 15 points. I ended in second with 10 and Lana ended with seven. So, all right, before we go, we're going to draft. Ooh. It is time to draft. Now I did randomize our uh, drafting order prior to this podcast beginning. I randomized it three times for season three of this uh, franchise. And I have a screenshot in case anyone wants to see or cares to see. But our draft order today, Lana, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, the draft order is going to be myself, then David, then Lana. Yeah, it, it literally hates women today. Everything it hates really women. Does. Everything today hates is women today. Everything hates women day. I get it. Oh, I was about to say something. I'm not going to say it on the internet. Um. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh! Were you about to go there? Were you about to? Were you? I was about to go there. Were you really going to go there? You were going. Oh. Oh, you were really going to go there. Okay. Chloe, Chloe, I'll tell you after. Anyway. Um. Well, uh, no, no. I, I mean, I, I, I think, think it's pretty obvious and. I have no idea what you were going to say. I do think I know where you, what you were going to say, but I'm. Mm -hmm. we'll mm -hmm. we'll go there we'll go there so um what we are doing for this draft because there are 10 queens on the cast um and there are three of us drafting chloe knows some things i will not elaborate further um so she will not be sue me she's she's <laughs> a <laughs> um so chloe's not drafting instead uh david lana and i are each going to get three picks and chloe will end up with our leftover uh queen um, yeah, as team Chloe and team okay. Chloe could win, could win the whole season. Um, but, um, I'm very excited to get first pick. My choice is obvious. My choice you. is very clear. My choice oh. is the most obvious. My choice is a queen and she's a queen of the universe. <gasps> um, and I will be picking Leona Winter with my first pick. Oh my God! You left that for David. You I for David. could kiss you on your lips right now. I would really rather you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I Chloe, you, who did I tell you that I wanted? I'm like, all I care is that I get my one queen, and that's Magnetica. Yeah, I'm sorry, it. Lana. This is what seven drafts in a row where David has taken Lana's first pick. <laughs> my only pick, like and you know, very... she's my kind of queen, Lana. David, she's my that heart. is the only person I was passionately excited about through the whole day. And cast, you know, what? I'm so sorry. <laughs> And this happened with Seifer. Yep. And this happened with um, who else? Who else has David stolen from you over the years? I mean, David has stolen a lot from me. <laughs> in, in Instagram pictures, David has stolen a lot more from me in Instagram yes. pictures than anything. Like, <laughs> stolen. And you would, some of the pictures that like, very obviously would have been me, and David <laughs> knew better, and he picked them anyway. And I'm like, oh, right in the back of another black woman. I got you. I got <laughs> you, David. I but got you. You're my wifey, so what's mine is yours. It's your worst is yours is mine. We love to say that. We love to say that, but I don't get the feel of that. Where are the facts? Right. Where are the facts? Where are the receipts? Where are the receipts, <laughs> are the receipts of that? Oh, okay. But well, okay. Lana, you have it's two okay. picks. I do have two picks. Oh, well, you know. Now I have to think, but not a one. I already know one. Um, and that is? I'm, go I'm going to pick Norma. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick Norma. Um, where do take, I go next? Take the other person that David wants. T use your telepathy skills, Lana. Take who he wants. I'm debating between two, so I'm good either way. <laughs> I'm also debating between two, so. Um, you I would uh, straight away who I would want. And not based off. <laughs> Fair. Just based off what I've seen in that short mm -hmm. amount of time in terms of fashion mm -hmm. and stuff that I'm like, yeah. Give me 
I'm going to take Ms. LaPhilippe. No. That's who you are thinking, Chloe, wasn't it? No. Really? Okay. No. Hmm. I think those yeah. are lovely picks, Lana. I think... Yeah. Definitely. Okay, I know who you're talking about then. I'm not going to pick her, though. I think I'm going to go with Miss Aphrodite Amor. Um, I am going to trust in the heart of the cards and in some, uh, hairy chested women, <laughs> um, and I will be paying in full, uh, with Ruby on the <laughs> Now my second choice is where it honestly gets very difficult because I do like all four of these Queens, but I think the person that wait, your second choice. Yeah, so we, we do, do a snake draft system. Oh yeah, now so the like, picks. Okay. So now, it, so now we're back to where we started. Yeah. Got it. I'm looking at all of these names I have written down, and there's one that just keeps, just keeps coming at me. Um, I'm gonna take Misty Phoenix. Ooh, that's ooh, I was gonna pick next. Good. <laughs> How dare you take Magnetica mm. from Lana? <laughs> I think with my next pick. Am I going to get the one that I would like? I think so. Maybe. I think I'm going to go out on a limb here and hope oh. that they're going to want some good representation from a oh, different country. Perseo. And I'm going to pick Perseo. I was looking right. at her. I was looking at her. Mm -hmm. All right, Lana. Um, wait, who's left? Uh, Deja Noir and Lula Strega. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take Lula. I was so close. Which means Chloe ends up with the girl that she tore apart in the cast assessment oh, of Dan no. Noir. I'm very happy that she's team Chloe Clark. I had to take up my name for a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wrap you this up say, because it is very, really? it is very late in the evening for Chloe. But Chloe, thank you for joining us as always. Hopefully. Oh, wow. We're going to figure out some scheduling things. We're hoping to have you on for as much of the Drag Race France coverage as you are able and willing to do uh, with us. Because you know you're welcome here anytime. So As long as, as, long as we don't, I don't have to score stuff anymore. Because Lana will be like, no. <laughs> well, you, you, know, you know, being that you are, you have been on Drag Race, I think we might be able to exempt you from that, potentially. Yes. Um, Absolutely. I don't, I don't mind. But... Um, Yes, we're going to get out of here. We will be back very, very shortly to dive into the premiere of Drag Race France Season 3. We're very, very excited about that. Um, on your way out, make sure to subscribe, like, share, hit all the buttons that say you support us, because um, we greatly appreciate the support from the French fans, because y'all do like us. Unlike certain other countries, uh, France does like us, so I'll take <laughs> that. Um, make sure to check the description below uh, for all of our... Uh, YouTube channel links, our audio podcast links, and our membership channel links for exclusive and uh, exclusive content and early access. You can also check out uh, our social media at the Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You could go follow the four of us uh, down below as well. You could also get some Chloe Clark merch. Uh, go check out Chloe, and you could also get some Cup merch at the same time. Um, make sure to check out all the links down below. We're gonna get out of here. With that being said. Cheers. 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 And you do you do ship internationally, yeah? Yes, yes we, yes, we do, do. internationally. Oh, and wow. so does Chloe Clark. Or yes. Au revoir. <laughs> <laughs>